this amazing thing. You should not have, to, if anything, do not underestimate it. And that's even if it, there are some things that are underwhelming about it, the experience as a whole is very overwhelming. And not just the costs you pick <laughs> or things you do, but uh, but actually like the experience of that secondary uh, entry of your educational system, you are getting into that immersion. And that is the busing that Jordan Pearson can see when it comes to college and universities. And so it's like, yeah, that's his argument. And huge favor of it. Fuller, on the other hand, he's like, okay. He, he told me this personally. And he's like, um, about the benefits and downsides of uh, secondary education. Well, main, that, main, his, his argument was also for education and secondary education. But he said, and I, I also quote, you won't know everything from going to college or university but you will still at least get the basics and foundations down so that when you get to an actual job you won't be left behind unprepared or unwilling to work and i, I don't think that he, i don't think he actually said unwilling to work but that that was kind of the domestic what he said it was like a it's like a that, that's, that's, I okay, admit I'm willing to work with everything I saw, as I said, was almost over quote down the line, silver lining. He basically, uh, basically, Grady was like, you basically need college at some point to know how to properly do your job. And it's not a shame that you have to do that, but it does mean that you won't have to know omnisciently everything possible just to achieve that. You just need to get the job done. And that's enough that's a crucial but it's not an omniscience either so it's a bit of a balance on that and i have to say it like that because some people don't understand why we even know so uh, between these two people the celeb and the friend um or friend of me and the popular intellectual thoughtful figure uh you, you say what you will about jordan pearson say what you will in favor of my friend i'm not disfavoring my friend i'm not shitting on pearson i'm saying that I favor Pearson over Fuller because in this in this stance I, I favor them, a non uh, a non judgmentally I, I hope, but that's still a bit of a bias anyways. I favor Pearson's argument over Fuller because I think Peterson has a good point that we under uh, underestimate a lot of things in our life and concerns to our wisdoms and stuff. We shouldn't have to be like that, but it happens to be the case that Fuller is right because you have to at least know what you need. And only get what you need at certain points in your life. That's a good practical and logic way to see it. But logic isn't everything in life. There are some intuitive, non-ego analytical thinking brain moments in your life that you're going to have to know how to navigate without using logic alone. I, I believe that there's a way to incorporate creativity in everyone's life. Not just the females. Everyone's life. Everyone's going to have, have some form of creativity that helps them without compromising their logistical ways of doing things. Their, their logic and their rationality will not be compromised. Their idea of STEM or STEAM the idea of being a truly on point person who does care on a humanistic, maybe ego, but humanistic level will be there. The, the earth and the earth and fire will still be there, the, but the water and, and air can't be left behind or something like that. So it's like that combination of creativity and logic is my hope for people, anyways. And finally, number six of six, uh, raising the vibration of the planet becomes so concurrent with one's confidence, no one forces childbirth or workloads or anything. Being here is its own blessing now and forever if you're only here for the claymation and you just mute the claymation just to hear the or see the audio or visuals i i don't blame you i'm sorry i don't give you the content you want or even i want sometimes but that's i'm being true to myself and authentic and that's unforgivably un, un, unapologetic and authentic without being too compromising or dangerous with it so i'm learning the human game of giving people what they want servitude wise and doing what i want uh attractively wise uh, passion-wise or talent-wise with a talent of for servitude, passion of self-authenticity. So now we get into my lifestyle, story, and whatnot, you name it. Who is Tony Cashman anyways? Well, if you'll, as you'll see, as aforementioned, the next long ter longer-term so-called intermediate project will actually be a claymation slash video essay slash uh, deep illiterate <laughs> uh, take on the compare and contrast principles and the significance behind those things. Oh, and the longer term project ahead of that is the uh, That Sign series, which is kind of like a Project Tether spinoff, but it's probably the more original series I'll go for anyways. As for this follow-up topic, since the first supposed milestone that I made on the channel already, the video for that, um, this next topic will now be Confidence Builds Competence and Vice Versa.
yeah, that's the three items I wanted to go with. I do I could have done two more, but that's I do, I do two additional just five items. There's three items from this video. And we'll leave it at that. I'm not gonna apologize for making two videos in a row like this, but this I, I enjoyed making these videos lately. I they they are very non specific and they're not even beginning to delve into like soft skills design communication, but or even write content as as is suggested, but I enjoy making these videos, believe it or not. There's it gets way deeper than this, by the way. It gets way deeper. I I could I could elaborate that in the meantime if I can if I can, but there's there's a reason why I do these things. So I don't have a slogan yet. I mean I could still use the old one, the uh, uh, the newer older one, but you know the one with the uh, accepting toy thing, desperation, pretend to care. But yeah, and then the so much on the move or save from the pandemic, everyone. So yeah, bye guys. So Hank Green was this one guy. Who said something that I actually resonate with very brilliantly? It's a very beautiful thing he said that I, I'm trying to talk about in this video. He says, along in his description and in his video, something that I actually think is very profound. What he says in the video is that we should take our time with the things that we know we can do very effectively and practically, because even if they're only going to be right or only going to be good, they sh they might still be a reason to, to wait on those decisions no matter how rational that may be at first or wait or procrastinate or delay that we should still wait on those decisions because we don't know what that will turn out to be and we also even if we do know what it turn out to be that's still going to be its own lie we don't know what the turn out will be and we still have to live the world we're still in, in the meantime no matter what that, there's a big gamut how this circulates into other things i'm going to talk about in this video but we should be grateful for the world we still have and take our time with it before we make any decision even whether it's good or bad in his description he says that sometimes we don't understand the controversial aspects of things, no matter how practical or effective they actually are. Again, no slogan. I'll make up a slogan eventually, but I didn't want to have to pull you guys through um, too much of this, even if you cared about watching this video, which I thank you for watching the whole video if you did. But that was the 10 items. If, for a recap, it's no fab slash human attention, deep docs, episodes, vlogging, philosophy, podcast, journalism, project title claimation, piano OST with lyrics, gaming, stream, such highlights, and power apps. So yeah. I'm gonna come back with another video maybe tomorrow or later on about, uh, even tonight maybe, who knows, about what is keeping me from making more videos on soft skills and science communication, including the things that would be related to NoFap, like the discipline and motivation and the confidence and all that, and mental clarity. So I'll come back with that video later on, I guess. See you guys. Wow, I honestly had no idea that there'd be this much history. I mean, I already knew I was making it in the process, like for obvious reasons, even until now. But geez, dude, there really is everything happening for a reason, whether it's an inherent reason or a reason you create for your own. But the reason you create is all the important ones that you really to consider anyways.